What up, YouTube? So, uh, this video is about nudie bronze and what to do about them. Now, nudie bronze um, are these uh, snails, essentially, without a shell. And so, what they do for defense is they have uh, spikes. And those spikes basically carry, like, uh, whatever, you know, poison that they get from eating the zoas. They basically transfer it onto their back and then when fish come to eat them, you know, um, they spin back out because they don't taste good. But this whole rock used to be covered in zoas and as you can see there's a nice good chunk of it missing and I couldn't figure out for the longest time why, you know, they kept were staying closed and, and I did a whole bunch of water tests and uh, everything came back good. Upset. I noticed that they would still stay closed and they would slowly dying until so one morning I got up early and I noticed this guy let me see if I can get right here this is a nudie cronk okay I'm trying to see if I can get a clear shot of that um, but they're pretty cool looking uh, they come in a variety of colors usually they tend to uh, get the color of the zoa that they're eating and so they're really hard to notice um, best time to find them is usually I notice at night if you have fluorescent lights they're a lot easier to spot and, and they blend in really well because they look just like the tips of the zoas, um, so so they're, they're really really hard to spot. You know, your best bet is to get a fluorescent light at night, and if you can get the zoas to close up for a few seconds, you can usually spot them around there. And it's crazy because they multiply really fast. I guess the way to get rid of them is an iodine dip where you get like Luigi's uh, iodine I think it's called and um, you put your zoas in there and you know swirl it around you know uh, for about five minutes then you know uh, rinse them off in some uh, you know uh, good uh, you know salt water like clean salt water and uh, do that about for a few weeks and essentially that's supposed to get rid of the problem now since I've done it I've noticed that my zoos are a lot happier and now they're actually opening up again they started actually opening up about within about two hours after uh, the I did the dip and so you know they seem to be doing a lot lot better you're gonna find a few of these guys in there you know um, and then look for eggs um, that are you know maybe uh, anywhere around there now I know sometimes like with me like some of my fish for some reason like to spit up sand so it's it's hard to sometimes distinguish the difference but uh, when you do the dip, uh, in order to get rid of them completely, you gotta go and uh, pull the eggs off because they're real sticky. So they won't really come off too well. But I don't know, hopefully this can be of some help. Um, and good luck. 